Day two in the trial of Jenna Hiron, the woman accused of causing a crash that killed two people in 2019. KGA 9's Kenny Dar is live outside of Pima County Superior Court now. He's been following this case closely. Uh, Kenny, take it away. Yeah, good afternoon, Pat Heidi. The state continued to call witnesses to the stand today in a case that could come down to if Jana Hiron sent or received text messages at the time of the crash. Now those text messages, those deleted text messages were a main focus point today for test during testimony from two OVPD officer members. Uh, the according to testimony, the text messages in question involved Hiron sending a text message to the father of a child who attends the same school as her regarding a fundraiser. Now the big question is, were those texts sent or received in conjunction with the time of the crash? You're about to hear the voice of Detective Darren Jackson on what Hiron told him during that voluntary interview just days after the crash occurred. She basically said um, that uh, she doesn't know what happened to those other messages that she just referenced about you know, going to baseball practice and picking up a cash envelope. Um, she didn't know how they were removed from her phone. Now, Jackson also testified because of those deleted text messages and in order to preserve any other potential evidence that could be in her phone. Her phone was then taken into OVPD's custody uh, following that interview, and they did have that phone from November 2019 until June 2020. Now, again, the state is going to continue throughout the rest of this week and going into next week. They're going to continue to try to convince the jury that Hiran was distracted by her cell phone when her car collided with Caitlin Festerling's car during that crash. On the other side, the defense is going to continue trying to convince, trying to convince the jury that she was not distracted while when she hit Caitlin Festerling's car and that it was simply an accident that was unavoidable and that other factors need to be considered, such as the third car that was involved, that white GMC pickup truck, which T-bone Festerling's car and take those things into consideration and what into what ultimately led to Festerling and Paul Garcia's death. For now reporting from the Pima County Superior Courthouse, Kenny Dar, KGA 9.